Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude, and today we have a deck opening. If you did not see yesterday's video, I highly suggest you go back and watch that. Had our first ever mail opening day, and it was pretty exciting. Really cool stuff there. Alright, oh, I ripped that pretty good. We have a green Archon today. Untamed. Dis and Mars. Oh boy. Magoro the Shrewdly Lizard Brained. Wow, look at that Archon. That's actually pretty neat. I really love these Archons in the second set here. I look forward to see what the third set's going to look like, but this is just crazy. Look at all this going on. And I love that it's symmetrical. I personally like to see the symmetrical ones. This is pretty nice. I love this. Gosh, what's going on right here? Man, let's bring it a little bit closer. Yeah, first time I've seen that pattern. This might be the most Martian looking Archon I've seen yet. All right, we're starting off with Untamed. Gravid Cycle, whenever it ever be played, it's a mega. Return a card from your discard pile to your hand. It's a really good card. Especially if you have one card in your deck you just want to abuse over and over, this is nice. Wave the Porcupine, it's an upgrade. Never never you play it. This creature gains Hazardous 3. Soldiers to Flowers, Amber never you play it. Purge each untamed creature from each player's discard pile. For each card purged this way, its owner gains 1 Amber. Very nice if you're the only player with untamed. Bumblebird, 1 power alpha. Play, put 2 plus 1 power counters on each other friendly untamed creature. They're everywhere, Amber never you play it. Deal 2 damage to each enemy flank creature. Deal 1 damage to each enemy creature, not on a flank. Song of Spring, Amber Never You Play It. Shuffle any number of friendly untamed creatures from your hand, discard pile, or battle line back into your deck. It's a little bit of anti-synergy with the Soldiers to Flowers card. I'm still not a big fan of that. Oh no, there's two of them. <laughs> I am just not a fan of Song of Spring. Oh, save the pack. That's nice. Destroy each damaged creature. Gain one chain. Goes great with their everywhere. Regrowth, Amber Never You Play It. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. Persistence Hunting, Amber Never You Play It, choose a house. Exhaust each enemy creature of the chosen house. We have not seen many creatures in here, interesting. Fang House, three power, Salt three, and Hazardous three. Another Fang House. And that ends Untamed. Mars Now, Sample Collection, play. Put an enemy creature into your archives for each key your opponent has forged. If any of these creatures leave your archives, they put to its owner's hand instead. Key Abduction, Amber Never You Play It. Return each Mars creature to its owner's hand. Then you may forge a key at plus 9 current cost, reduced by 1 Amber for each card in your hand. Containment Field. Upgrade. After this creature is used, destroy it. I hate that they're able to use the creature first, but it's still not too bad. Xanthix Harvester. 3 power. Cannot be used while it has a non-Mars neighbor. Reap. Gain 1 Amber. Vesma Think Drone. 3 power. Reap. You may archive a friendly creature or, or artifact from play. Mother Gun, it's an artifact. Action, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand. Deal damage to a creature equal to the number of Mars cards revealed this way. Got two of those. Man, for some reason, the AOA, I constantly see Mars decks that have two of these in there. Very weird. Mindworm, one power elusive. Before the fight, the creature Mindworm fights, deals damage equal to its power to each of its neighbors. Mind Warper, two power elusive. Action, choose an enemy creature. It captures one neighbor from its own side. Collector Worm, 2 power, 5 armor. Fight, archive the creature. Collector Worm fights. If that creature leaves your archives, put it into its owner's hand instead. And two of those. I like seeing that card. Haven't seen those for a while. Carpet Phylloxum, 1 amber and every plate. If there are no friendly creatures in play, deal 4 damage to each creature. I love this as a first turn play when I'm going second because it typically clears out what my opponent's done and then I can play whatever Mars creatures or other things in my hand. Now we're on to Dis. Key to Dis, it's an artifact. Omni, sacrifice key to this. Destroy each creature. Ancient Yurk, six power. Play, choose and discard three cards from your hand. I love Yurk, I love old Yurk. Ancient Yurk is kind of questionable. The three cards is sometimes a big deal. Depends on what the rest of this deck is, but I have a feeling I would have rather seen like an old Yurk here just discarding two. Three fates, Amber W play. Destroy the three most powerful creatures. Shuler, five power. Play, if your opponent has four more Amber, you get to steal one. Another Shuler. Three Shulers, interesting. Misery Exploit Play, gain one Amber for each damaged enemy creature. Goes great with that, they're everywhere. Dust Imp, two power destroyed, gain two Amber, that's a good card. And we have two of them. Oh, three of them, wow! The Dis here is actually really good. I love three Shulers, I love three Dust Imps, that's a decent amount of Amber. 
Call the weak, Amber Nevy Plate. Destroy the least powerful enemy creature. Last card of the deck is Amber Imp. Two power elusive. After a creature reaps, you stun it. All right, let's go back through this. As typical with AOA decks, the Amber Control is pretty light. We're going to first count up the Amber, though. That Those dust dents are going to help out quite a bit. Same as those Schulers. Mars did not have too many. Ooh, was it only one? Untamed had a decent amount, but that was because we were lacking in the creature department. So that's not necessarily a good thing. All right, let's add it up. We have one, two, three, hopefully four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now this is where it gets iffy. I'm going to say these will probably count as two total, so it's going to be fourteen. 15, 17, 19, 21, 22. That's actually pretty solid. 22 is not bad whatsoever. Even if we took away a count from that Schuler, that's still 21. That's pretty good. All right, so Amber Control, we know it's going to be light. We can probably count Gravid Cycle as getting another one of those back, but I don't think it's going to actually add up to that much anyway. Schulers are a conditional steal. So I don't see it doing too much. Amber Imp, same thing. It's just uh, kind of slow. Mind Warper. Without any taunts to protect it, that thing's going to go away. Plus, in AoA, there's quite a few things that do two damage or so. So uh, it's not going to survive. We can't really count it. So yeah, for Amber Control, there is basically none. You're probably going to take an average of two steel. And that is just not going to win any games. <laughs> what a shame. Let's actually count up the creatures. I know we are super light and untamed, which is a shame because we had so many cards that involved untamed creatures. And unfortunately, this just kind of happens sometimes at Keyforge. You do have a, you have a deck that's unique to you. No one else in the world can have it. And sometimes you have some cards that just don't mesh too well together. All right, let's add up the creatures. One, two, three, five, ten. 17. Okay, so it's a little bit more than I had thought. Well, I guess it's because this we had an insane amount, actually. The three Dust Dimps and three Schulers definitely helped out with that. But we had Soldiers to Flowers and Song of Spring, and look at this. It was only three untamed creatures, right? Just three? One of which is Alpha? I mean, I guess the Alpha doesn't matter too much in this deck because we didn't have anything else in Untamed we wanted to play first. But that's just kind of awful. This is a really bad Untamed House. Even though it has some other cards in there that are objectively good, just together the House Untamed in here is pretty bad. That's kind of sad. But um, the Mars House, ah, it's okay. Wasn't anything to write home about. But I kind of really did like the Dis. I love the control elements we had. I love the creatures we had. So another cool thing here with the Dis, let's at least talk about that. Because that was basically the best house in my opinion. So the Dust Imps here aren't too bad with this Amber Imp, so if you already had maybe two Dust Imps out, you can actually drop the Amber Imp. Ah, for a second I thought this was the one that had a Sacrifice. Oh my gosh. It's the one that stuns. I was actually hoping we had the Sacrifice one. Blood Shard Imp is what I was thinking of. Because Blood Shard Imp with Dust Imps could have made it where we could reap, get an Amber, then destroy them, and that's three Amber each time, which sometimes can just help you finish out a game. Oh man, that's a shame. that. Oh, I thought it was the other imp. Gosh. All right, well, yeah. I don't know, guys. Even having the they're everywhere, save the pack combo doesn't really save this untamed. The house itself, anytime we have to call it, it's just not going to do too much. Having a combo that destroys their creatures and slowing them down with only one card just is nothing really special. And so even these creatures don't really do much of anything. Yeah, oh, man. If the untamed would have been a little bit better in here, I think I would have been really excited about this deck. Uh, I said the Mars is fine, the Dis is pretty good, but uh, even the Mars still, this Containment Field, the Sample Collection, those are overall weaker cards. I'm not a big fan of the Harvester. I'm sure a lot of you have probably had some good success with this because you're going to talk about maybe some situations where you have this next to a Dominator. Next thing you know, you reap with this, maybe you Mars first, and suddenly you got like five or so Amber just from this and a Mars first. Like, that's great and all, but overall, it's just kind of weaker. There's too many ways to deal with this card. And yeah, the Mind Worm, I mean, once again, it can have situations where it's great, but 
it's just not that fantastic in most cases. Yeah, oh man, it's really hoping to see a little bit better deck here today. Ah, it's a shame. All right, guys, uh, the rating for this deck, man, I've always wanted a triple dust imp deck, so to see this is, oh, just, it hurts just a little. Um, but the rating for this deck is probably going to have to be like a D plus. It might even just be a D. You can't have an untamed house that is that bad. Having one third of your deck pretty much doing about nothing is just, unfortunately, it's going to be a loss. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.